Hey everyone, welcome to Her Say. I'm so excited to be here again with Allison. Thank you. We've got a full week of really yes, good topics. Yes, and very fun stories today. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to swoon. Tom Ford has launched a full color beauty line. Lipsticks, he's doing skincare, eye colors. It's I going to be a huge, Tom massive Ford. success. Plus two new fragrances coming out. I love Tom Ford so much. This is one extravagance I'm gonna have to have. Okay, so this comes from Crushable. I love this story. Frances so McDormand cool. wore a jean jacket to the Tony Awards and she was like, hey, I'm embracing being casual, right? And I love this because now the jean jacket has its own Twitter account. I love following the Cobra the Snake that like escaped from the Bronx Zoo. I love following Beat My Dad Says and all of the other fantastic <laughs> yeah, Twitter yeah. handles. Now for a tasty family favorite, Jenny Flake from PickyPallet.com is going to show us how to make some easy chicken enchiladas using Philadelphia cooking cream. So Kelly, I know you are a busy working mom. Is it crazy during the week to try to get weeknight meals on the table? It really is. You know, I have two kids and I have a full-time job, so I'm always looking for ways to streamline the process and make it easier. So the secret to keeping your week sane is to prepare during the weekend. Get as much stuff as you can done to help for those busy weeks. When you come home, you can open your fridge and you can have some of these things available. So we have some bags of lettuce and tomatoes you can pull out during the week for salad. Pre-cooking your bacon on Sunday is awesome, so you can have it all week long. Put it in a baggie, pull it out. Cooked chicken, wonderful to have during the week for pastas or pretty much any dish. I love to steam rice. Put it in little bags, pre-measured, even stick it in the freezer. You could keep it you there You can for, freeze rice? You can freeze the steamed rice. It's wonderful. Tip. And then some dried beans. I like to wash and dry the beans, pre-measure them so I can pull those out anytime mm -hmm. I need them for recipes. Mm -hmm. And then we have garlic, onions, and tomatoes. They're chopped and ready to go for whatever recipe you need. So Kelly, I'm gonna show you a great easy make-ahead dinner called Easy Chicken Enchiladas. That's delicious. Mich I love enchiladas. So we've got our pre-measured onions mm -hmm. and tomatoes that we've done over the weekend, so we can just pull it out of the refrigerator. And I've got my chicken, Philadelphia cooking cream, the Santa Fe blend, and some cheese. So to the pan, I've sauteed my onions and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Those have been nicely sauteing. And to that, I'm going to add my cooked chicken. And that's so easy, that chopped chicken was just like all cooked and chopped and ready to go. I don't have to cook yep. any chicken, it's nope. ready for me. You've prepared it over the weekend, so you pull it out and it's ready for dinner. Next I'm gonna add the Philly cooking cream, the Santa Fe blend. We're gonna do three fourths of a cup. That looks so creamy and delicious. And it's like the flavor's already in there, so it's like Mexican flavored all ready to go. So yeah, the fact that all the flavors are in the cream, that's just another time-saving tip for the recipe. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, we'll add our shredded cheese. cheese. All right, so now it's time to fill our enchiladas. Grab a spoon and start filling them up. So you're gonna use about a third a cup of the chicken filling, okay. and these are just regular six inch. And these are flour tortillas? Flour tortillas, and roll them up nice and tight. And then we'll place them seam side down so they don't fall out everywhere. Okay. Perfect. So our last step is we're gonna add the remaining Philly cooking cream right mm, on top. More cheese. Yes, <laughs> right? So much better with a little more cheese. And we're gonna bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. I feel like we should have a margarita while it cooks. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, I hope this helps make your weeknights a little bit easier. I think it's going to. It looks so delicious. I'm definitely gonna try it out. To get this recipe and other great weeknight meals, go to craftfoods.com. So easy and delicious. Right? Okay, so everyone, please come fan us on Facebook. Or follow us on Twitter at Hersey. And also sign up for our daily newsletter. And don't forget to keep coming back to Hersey every day to find out all the hottest stories buzzing around the web. Bye. Bye.